Osbit is uh, on spec, budget and in time. An absolutely crucial part of any sort of engineering programme requires a specification and a specification to be met, a budget to retain profitability and uh, on time. Gulf Marine Services has been in the offshore industry for the past 40 years. We are the largest operator of self-elevated, self-propelled DP jackups in the world. The sea always um, presents challenges. We've become experts in solving some of the problems that occur. Safety is primary in everything that we do. Safety in our operations, but also safety in the products and how they can help the whole system to be more safe. This particular project came about uh, purely through the innovation of our clients. Uh, who had certain demands with regards to the projects that they're faced with within Horn C1, which is a renewable energy uh, wind farm off the east coast of UK. The vessel dimensions, to give you an idea of scale, is 76 metres length overall, 36 metres in beam, that's width, and she has a 6 metre depth of hull. The legs that you see uh, on the vessel uh, extend some 94.2 metres, which allows the vessel uh, to actually operate in water depths up to 65 metres. People have been trying different means of getting people to work effectively uh, at a distance offshore. And uh, one of the things that most people don't like is constantly being bobbed around. So this is an innovative project which uh, uses a jack-up vessel as an accommodation vessel. So rather than people staying on maybe a floating hotel or, or spending a long time travelling each way on a, on a bobbing boat in and out of work, then they get onto an accommodation vessel but it's static because it's jacked up out of the sea. The problem then, of course, is it's jacked up quite high and how do you get from a small boat onto it? That's the problem we, we set out to solve. This system allows us to stay elevated at a height of 21.1 metres. We do not need to jack down to accommodate any CTV transfers. It allows safe docking of the CTV, it allows safe access of personnel through the tower and then transit vertically to the main deck of GMS Endeavour, totally enclosed and protected from some of the elements that can become manifest offshore. There are various regulations for safely walking up and down stairs for headroom and for the width and allowing stretches to go along the, these sorts of walkways, they're all, they're all sort of legislated for. Uh, so then we use that information and apply our engineering judgment and analysis. And we've designed everything. Uh, all of the fabrications have been built within uh, a few hundred yards of the River Tyne. And uh, then the final assembly occurred up at Blythe, where we put it directly onto the vessel at the Port of Blythe. This is a piece of innovation, and uh, you don't get innovation without working closely with the whole of the team, including the customers who have an initially a simple need. That becomes more and more complicated as you, you get closer and closer to the requirements, uh, but also uh, in the team, the, the supply chain. So we've worked really closely uh, with GMS and our suppliers, both in the initial uh, design of the system, but also the installation on it. Osbert were quick, they reacted uh, in a proactive, uh, manner, the engaged with Gulf Marine Services, once other companies, especially within the renewable sector, see the results of such innovation, I wouldn't be surprised to see this repeated on other projects. We all want to make machines that are excellent and make machines that are enjoyable to work with. Osbert's working relationship throughout this project has to be commended. It was beneficial, productive, open, transparent. It was enjoyable. We continue to seek uh, interesting opportunity which can express our engineering excellence. From what we've experienced over the past months, Osbit do deliver and, uh, and deliver to satisfaction. So in moving forward, would we come back to Osbit? Certainly. <laughs>